Hey everybody, uh, this is kind of part two about uh, looking for genetic diversity in your garden and especially if you're going to want to keep seeds from year to year you might have some varieties that are that would produce whole new heirloom seeds and you might have some plants that are small and bushy you might have some that are tall and skinny some that produce more fruit some that produce larger fruit um, and that's how we got a lot of the heirlooms that we ha that we find now at you know the heirloom seed companies that we go through and stuff you know they were they were hand selected and, and kept for those specific traits and eventually you have a whole new variety that produces the same year after year after year now I'm sitting behind some lambs quarters right here and lambs quarters is a, is a wild plant it grows wild some people call it a weed but it was very uh, it was very important to Native Americans and it was cultivated for food and um, if you've ever had quinoa quinoa is the is the cultivated variety of lambs quarters that the, the Incas actually grew for food they grew it for very large seeds so the leaves look identical to quinoa um, the plant looks very similar um, and it just has larger seeds and some of the leaves are a little bit brighter um, than these but I've got a, a tall one right here and then I've got a really short little bushy one right here and let me show you some traits between the two of these that are really different all right the first one I'm gonna show you is this variety right here and if you look on the inside it's really pink these little crystals and stuff like that that are grown in here which is actually calcium um, they're kind of a pink color and if you look at these leaves the leaves are very pointy they're very narrow compared to some some types of lamb lambs quarters so you have these really narrow leaves the plants real short and bushy you know the the branches and stuff are come out just as far as it is tall almost it's almost perfectly round and if you look over here this variety is a little bit taller and it has rounder leaves the leaves here are more round even the tips the tips right here are, are kind of round if you can kind of see that whereas these tips come to a point so not only that but this right here these crystals on the inside are white they're not pink like this variety right here and I'll, I'll even hold some of these leaves next to each other to kind of give you an idea you can kind of see these two right here you know this one right here is big broad leaves and this one's got really narrow leaves so uh, so if you were wanting um, to grow lambs quarters for like spinach or for making pesto and stuff like that you know maybe the larger leaf variety would probably be more that you'd want to keep for from year to year versus this narrow leaf variety but some might have bigger seeds or you might not want ones that are really tall like this you might want something more bushy so it's kind of up to you whatever you plan on growing in your garden but most likely it'll produce true I mean you'd get at least 60 percent of the seeds that would look like the mother plant you know more than half the seeds would so you just keep keeping the seeds year after year of the of the specific traits that you want and this one right here has got the really let me see I'll even pull a little I'll pull this off to kind of show you the difference between the pink and the white but this one right here on the on the right it's got pink crystals in the middle of the flowers and this one's got white so a lot of difference between these two plants you know this one right here is short bushy branchy narrow skinny pointy leaves and pink on the inside of the leaf clusters this one right here is taller not as branchy and it's more tall than it is than it is round and it's got these really cool fat round leaves that would be perfect for like spinach and stuff and it's white on the inside so just these two plants and I dug these two plants up from different areas of the garden when I did this cucumber bed I put two lambs I didn't have enough cucumbers to fill it all so I put some lambs quarters back here and I put those varieties of amaranth that I showed in the last video um, up front so yeah so this could be possibly two new heirloom varieties of of lambs quarter, quarters and it's uh you know selective breeding apparently that's kind of how we got dogs from wolves is the same way you know there's certain traits that we wanted and we just kept the ones that produced those traits so yeah so I'm definitely gonna be keeping some seeds from this pointy pink variety and uh, some seeds from this round white variety that's kind of taller so um, so yeah so there's there's some more genetic diversity going on in the garden and um, I'll probably have maybe one more video in the series um, from some stuff I found out here going on with um, 
the squash. And I think there might be a new variety of squash growing in the huge squash bed that we have. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for new videos. I hope you guys liked it. And um, if you guys have any crazy different varieties growing in your garden that that you that look different, go ahead and let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments section, and you know maybe you can name uh, name some new varieties of heirlooms after yourself or something like that. So so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, have a great day.